Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. If you don't know me, my name is Kaylee and I make a lot of videos over on TikTok. My content is very heavily centered around women empowerment and I try to describe the reality of the female experience. Sometimes I'll do that using reaction based content as kind of a jumping off point for conversation and that's what we're going to do here today. We're going to watch a video where a woman's talking about losing her sex drive and the pressure that she's feeling from her partner. And then we're going to dissect it and talk about how she most likely got there. But before we get into it, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I am so excited about growing this platform and creating longer form content. There are so many conversations to be had here and I hope that you'll all come along on that journey with me. So uh, now I'm going to stop talking and let's roll the clip. I'm sorry y'all, I'm a little rough, but I hope this end up on the right side of TikTok. I know I'm not the only mother that you know, lost her sex drive or any drive to want to fuck. And it's really taking a toll on my relationship. And it's like, I'm being to blame for this shit. Like, I'm not doing this shit on purpose. You feel me? And it's just like, I'm sorry, y'all. I got to keep taking breathers because I'm trying not to cry on this app. But I just know I'm not the only mother that's going through this shit. Like, I get bashed for not being sexual, but it's not my fault and I'm trying the best that I can. But it's really taking a toll on me. Like, I'm stressed out. I'm depressed. I'm tired of forcing myself to do sexual intercourse when I'm not there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just really stressful. And a man is not going to understand coming from a woman's perspective because they can't have children. They are walking sex drive. They be ready to fuck. I ain't mean to say that. They, they be ready to, you know, have sex anywhere, anytime, any day, all day, all, you know. And it just, it just really frustrating. Like, it's just, I'm honestly lo losing myself. I really am. I really am. I'm losing myself. And I don't know where I'm going, but I'm not here. So obviously you can tell that this is an incredibly important conversation. She starts the video by saying that she lost her sex drive and she knows she can't be the only woman going through this. And she's right, she's not the only woman going through this. And I think it's so important that we talk about the things that nobody wants to say out loud so that no woman has to question if she's going through this alone. So let's get into it. We don't talk nearly enough about the monotony of motherhood. We don't talk about how many women aren't living because they're just existing. We don't talk about how easy it is to lose your identity somewhere in between the dishes and the dirty laundry. And because we don't talk about any of that enough, we don't talk about how any of it relates to sex. And sure, a lack of sex drive can come from internal forces like hormones and depression, but it can also come from external forces like an unsupported partner and exhaustion. And I really wanna focus on some of those external forces here today. I think we have to start by acknowledging that a lot of women have children with the expectation that they're going to have an active partner participating in the parenting. And they don't realize that they're going to be parenting alone until after that baby is already born. And because of that, a lot of women have to start their journey with motherhood with this growing sense of disappointment in their partner. And we know that motherhood is really the only job where you're always working, but the job is never done. You're never going to reach the end of the laundry. The dishes are always going to be there and everyone's needs will never be met. And even though I know it can be really difficult to describe that to someone that's never experienced the monotony of domestic labor, I do think it's largely responsible for why so many women end up feeling unfulfilled. Because you're celebrating the milestones for your children, but you lack any real milestones for yourself. So it hurts when your partner is complaining about a lack of sex when you feel like you're drowning everywhere else because you start to realize that he doesn't care about you losing yourself. He cares about how the consequences of you losing yourself are affecting him. And I always wanna ask these men, when was the last time you actually made your wife want to have sex with you instead of just expecting her to? Because sex can very easily feel like an obligation when someone starts demanding that you treat it like one. In the video, she said she was sick of forcing herself into having sex when she felt like she just wasn't there. And I want to break down what that means. Because if your body is being used in an act that your mind is not actively participating in, then that is not consent. Forcing someone to be intimate with guilt is coercion. And that can take a tremendous toll on a relationship. Sex stops being something you want to do and starts being something you have to do. 
And there's a huge emotional shift that happens when you stop being seen for your value as a person and start being seen for the value that you can provide to other people. And when that happens, your body starts to feel like a shell for other people's use. We don't talk about how your body no longer feels like your own after pregnancy, when your nipples are chapped and your breasts are a food supply. We don't talk about how damaging it is when moments of intimacy have nothing intimate about them. And we don't talk about what it feels like when your body is something that he uses for pleasure and something that you use as a vessel to get it over with. But we've normalized this kind of behavior. We've all heard people tell women to do what they have to do to keep their man happy without even considering the trauma that's inflicted along the way. But we haven't told women the words that matter. We haven't told them that they should never have to hurt themselves in order to please someone else. But let's be honest, women are easy targets because they have a tendency to prioritize everyone else above themselves as it is. We've created an environment where they're told to ignore their own needs in order to continue fulfilling someone else's, and yet we wonder why they're struggling. We're talking about women who are never alone but always feel lonely. And that's only made worse by the limited adult interaction that can often come with motherhood. And we know that men can't properly sympathize with that. Because even if they don't go out often, they still have that quiet commute to work or those casual conversations with coworkers. For some mothers, their partner is the only other adult they come in contact with. And he'll use that time to complain about his sexual needs not being met while refusing to fulfill the social needs of his wife. We know that guilt and a fear of failure plague every aspect of motherhood as it is. So being criticized in those short moments of interaction can be devastating. You start to feel like you're not even worthy of conversation and end up feeling even more isolated as a result. But that lack of communication can take a toll on desire as well because it's very difficult to feel wanted by someone that makes you feel non-existent. So they put so much pressure on women and make them feel like they're not fulfilling their wifely duties. But meanwhile, they're not upholding any of their responsibilities as a husband or as a father. Think about how many men want to be left alone after work. But mothers don't have that luxury. These guys come home, sit on the couch, and can't even be bothered to sit with their own kids for an hour while their wife takes a shower and has the opportunity to recharge. They're too exhausted to participate at home, but they're never too exhausted to roll around in the sheets because that's what they feel is important. And we really have to ask ourselves why being too tired is always a good enough excuse for why a man can't be a father, but it's never a good enough excuse for why a woman can't be intimate. And the sad part is maybe those few short moments could have made all the difference. Maybe that time alone would have given her the opportunity to feel human but she'll never have the chance to find out if he's not willing to give her the time. Days with small children often consist of excessive noise, overstimulation, and constant touch. And that doesn't end until your kids go to bed. Think about it. The only time that mothers aren't needed is when everyone else is asleep. And then they find themselves conflicted between going to sleep because they're exhausted and staying awake because they need the time alone. And instead of understanding that she needs both, you ask her to do neither and perform for you instead. And that can be devastating because it's just another instance where she's being asked to fill someone else's cup at the expense of emptying her own. So sex stops being something you associate with pleasure and starts becoming something you associate with obligation. It becomes a chore and women do enough chores during the day. And that feeling becomes even worse when you're with a man who doesn't care if you view it as an obligation as long as he's still getting laid. Because how are you supposed to feel physically attracted to and safe with a man who would rather tell you to lay down than acknowledge why you don't want to? We see these guys use resentment from a lack of intimacy as an excuse to abandon the emotional needs of their partner. But they don't even realize that emotional turmoil is often what led to a lack of intimacy in the first place. They act like you're withholding sex, but you cannot withhold something from someone that they were never entitled to in the first place. If you notice, she says she's not doing this on purpose. And of course she's not doing this on purpose. But she's obviously been accused that she is. At the end of the clip, she talks about this fear of losing herself. And if you can relate to that, I just wanna say, of course you're losing yourself. Because how are you supposed to keep yourself if you don't have the time to remember who you are? And if you're a man watching this video, I wanna suggest that you try being a better partner. I wanna suggest that you actually participate in the home that you live in. Understand that not having sex is not a punishment. It's evidence of a problem. 
And don't try to fix it to be rewarded. Try to fix it so that someone doesn't end up losing themselves by trying to be everything that you and your kids needed her to be. I know that if you're a woman in this situation, it is so easy to feel like you're drowning. And I know it can be devastating when you feel like the only interaction you have with your partner is when he's angry with you or forcing you to be intimate. I want you to know that what you're feeling is normal, but his treatment of you is not. You are more than a mother. You are more than a wife. And you were put on this earth for more than just fulfilling other people's needs. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope they are excited about all the long form content that's to come. Let's start a conversation about this in the comments and hopefully we can make some women feel a little less alone today. If you want to send a question or conversation starter in for the question and answer series that's to come, you can do so by sending an email to askkaylee at kayleecresta.com. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn that little notification bell on. Remember that you can find me on TikTok and Instagram in between videos on here, and I will have all that information for you listed down below. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I love you all so much, and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!